Hello, everybody. This is Coach D with TackleTrading.com, longtime options trading veteran and professional educator here to talk to you about the Black Shoals model in greater detail. So make sure you stay till the end of this video and you'll get a much clearer understanding of how the Black Shoals model works and you'll have the opportunity to click on the link to watch our next video allowing us to go in greater depth on each of these topics. Let's go ahead and dive right in. The Black Shoals model is a mathematical model of price variation over time of financial instruments like stocks and ETFs that can be used to determine the price of an option. The Black Shoals model formula is the first widely accepted model for pricing options. It's used to calculate the theoretical value of options using the current stock prices or projected prices, expected dividends, the option strike price, the expected interest rates, the time until expiration, and the expected amount of volatility. The Black Shoals model was first published in the Journal of Political Economy under the title the Pricing of Options and Corporate Liabilities by Fisher Black and Myron Scholes. And it was later expanded upon in Theory of Rational Options Pricing by Robert Merton in 1973. They were later awarded the Nobel Prize in Economics for their work on the Black Scholes model. That's really impressive, the Nobel Prize in Economics. So let's make sure we understand what this Black Shoals model is. You'll recall from our last video about the options Greeks in general that the variables that belong to the Black Shoals model are those options Greeks. And in a moment, we'll take a look at an options pricing calculator here so you can see how those variables work. Now, the delta is how sensitive the option premium is to a change in the underlying asset's price, either up or down at $1 increments. So if the stock price rose $1, the option premium would change at the current rate of delta for that particular option strike price. The theta is the time decay. That is the rate of time decay that for each day that passes. And the more time you have, the lower the rate of time decay, the smaller the theta will be. And the closer you get to expiration, the higher the theta typically is, and each option strike price has its own rate of theta. Vega is how sensitive the option premium is to a 1% change in implied volatility, either up or down, in the underlying asset. And so if the implied volatility under the underlying asset increased 1%, those options on that options chain, that particular strike price, the, if you go look at the Vega, that's how much the option premium would change if you saw an increase or a decrease that's how much the premium would change gamma is velocity that's how quickly delta changes and you'll recall that delta ranges from 0.0, .0 out to 1.0 and it changes as the stock price moves and gamma is that rate of change and last but not least rho is how sensitive the option premiums are to changes in risk-free interest rates now let's take a look at an options chain just so you can see the numbers here. On the left we have the calls and on the right we have the puts. And each of those option strike prices, if you look down the middle, there's the strike prices. And all of these options expire in April. And you can see on the left side on the calls, you have the delta column, the gamma column, the theta column, and the vega column. And each of those option strike prices have their own unique value for each of the Greeks, each of those columns. The same thing is true for the puts. We can see each of those columns. And again, each strike price has its own options Greek value that goes into that Black Shoals model. Now we're going to jump out real quick here and take a look at an options pricing calculator. You can get this on the Chicago Board Options Exchange website. And I took the liberty of typing in Microsoft here. And we're dealing with the 105 strike price right here. So we type in the strike price 105. And I'm going to go hit, hit over here and say, well, what if uh, the volatility rose from 28% to 29%? and I hit the calculate button and the option premium changes. Well, I could then say, well, what if the number of days till expiration 
drop down to 80 days left until expiration. You can watch these options values over here as I calculate those. If I hit calculate, those numbers change. So here you can come in and say, well, what if the interest rate uh, rose to 3%? And I could type in 3.0% there, and I can calculate. And again, those numbers are going to change a little bit. So we can play around with the time, the date, the expiration, the volatility, uh, the stock price. We can play around with those and see what would happen to the option premiums. I could say, well, what if the stock price rose to $115, and I can hit calculate, and you'll see those numbers change. That is how the Black-Scholes model works. It measures all of those variables. And again, you'll recall that we can take all of the variables, and we can pump them into our little calculator here, the vega, the theta, the gamma, the rho, the delta, the stock price. All of those variables go into the Black-Scholes options pricing model, and it spits out the option value, and it does it in real time. And we can use an options calculator to theorize what the option premium might be or ought to be if we see any of those variables changes, and we can estimate that. To learn more about the next topic, the delta, we're going to get into greater depth on delta. Click on this link right here, and you'll be able to watch a video on delta.